Friday night is a dinner where you come along and sit with virtually strangers. And what's unique, I think, about Flames of the Forest is that you can come alone. You can come as one and just sit at a table with between eight and ten people, and um, which begins as strangers and it often ends up as best of friends. Whereas Saturday night is more a, a table for two, a romantic style dinner. We often have proposals, wedding anniversaries, birthdays. Everybody here is here because they enjoy the experience themselves. I, I don't think, I've been here now for years, probably seven, I've lost count, but the reason I come is because I have, you know, I just have never stopped enjoying the moment, basically. And every night is a moment. You, you walk up the path and you know, there's flame torches and lights and beautiful rainforest and you love it. <laughs> you just can't go past it. When I started here, I'm uh, well, like to create a really native menu and um, particular Australian flavours. Um, I'm not from Australia. Um, I'm from Sweden, of all this country. The kangaroo we were having on the banquet, um, I marinated in lemon myrtle, and it starts to bring out the beautiful flavour of the kangaroo, but also goes really, really well with the lemon myrtle. So it's a fine and combined. Uh, right flavours into right products. The night was amazing. It was a really unique experience. Really enjoyed the um, Aboriginal culture aspect of the, of the evening. I'm not from here, so I found that really, really interesting. And the food was just spectacular. Wasn't it, guys? Yeah. yeah it was amazing. Um, lovely menu, uh, plenty of food to go around. We certainly didn't run out, no leftovers either. And yeah, all round a really, really enjoyable, fantastic night with great company and great service. I'm keeping tradition alive by telling an oral history that's been around for thousands of years, plus I'm giving other people, the guests that come here, a bit of awareness of who we are and where we come from. My feeling personally is I feel this is a very sacred area a very, there's, um, there's a bit of history in, this, in these valleys. I feel there's people, all the elders and the people that have passed away, are, they're still here, basically. And they're still here watching us. And it's basically, I think they've given their approval to us. That's why Flames of the Forest has been running so well. <laughs>